I wanted to share a quick review of uh, Airmail, which I've been using since Dropbox left the scene around about the start of the year, or, or maybe a bit before then. But at the start of the year, I started using Airmail, and um, at first I was really impressed. It had a lot of functionality, a lot of really awesome integration, and I would just say that if everything worked and that the developers were able to respond to the issues that the app has, the app would be amazing. Um, unfortunately, pretty much every single issue that I've posted to them regarding snoozes coming back or archiving messages popping back in, um, they, they haven't actually been able to produce uh, any solution in all of the version updates that have addressed any of the issues that I've sent to support. They have workarounds which res which revolve around you resetting a message cache um, or, or uh, clearing clearing your messages out, um, removing and re-adding an account, but ultimately there is no real fix for these issues that I've been experiencing. Um, I would have expected a faster response from them and and now we're getting to almost a year on and uh, I've decided to drop the app so I wouldn't uh, recommend airmail to anybody um, if they manage to fix these issues great but because of their response time I can't recommend them as um, as a solution because if you have an issue you may not get a quick around a quick enough turnaround for them to resolve any of the issues in, in code um, so it's a real shame because I thought it was the ultimate solution for having something with snoozes um, that was uh, integrated into both Mac OS and on iOS on the iPhone. Um, I'm still using it in some capacity on the iPhone, but I'm hoping to remove it. On, uh, on Mac OS, my solution now is to use a plugin called Mail Butler, which gives me all of the snoozes as a plugin integrated into the default mail app. So I've had great success with this, it's amazing. And the benefit is that you're using the integrated mail app. So that also is gonna help you with battery power. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a solution for Mail Butler to be used on iOS yet. I'm sure there could be some kind of workaround that we could develop around um, scripting snoozes based on labels. Uh, I haven't really looked into that yet, but at the moment I'm I'm much happier using Mail Butler on the Mac OS uh, operating system than Airmail.